crafty people. It's time for a resin petri pour and I've got some nice colours. I have a um, sailboat blue. These are all um, ranger. Then a stream. Then this one, ooh, very nice uh, flamingo pink. And for a bit of a change, I'm going to try the pinata um, gold. Now I've tried metallics in them in the past, um, the silver and the gold, and really have not been able to get any results. I've tried all kinds of different things, but whatever I do, the metallics just, they float on the back of the resin piece. So when you turn it, when you um, see it, it's loads of black, loads of gold or silver on the back, absolutely nothing on the front. I'm going to try it again today because I've not done a video of one with the gold in, but I just want to show you how that works. And of course I'm going to use the pinata white. When I do alcohol, inks and resin, I always wear my respirator. So you won't be able to hear me talk during the piece. I'll put some music on and then I'll come back and see you for the demolding at the end.
So I just wanted to show you something with this one. Can you see what's happened? It's actually risen up. There's quite a distinct difference around the outside. The center part has risen right up out of the main part of the resin. It looks really weird. I've never seen anything like it before. You see, it's raised up. And when I put my finger here, it's hard. Oh, but it is roasting hot absolutely roasting hot. I don't know if I can see any steam coming off. No, I can't, but um, I'm sure if the environment was a bit cooler, we probably would. So I'm expecting this one is gonna fuse entirely to this uh, mold, but we will see in the end what happens to it. I have no idea why that happened. I just came back to check on it and it's gone really weird. So, well, we will see what happens with that. I wonder if it's the gold. Well, uh, only time will tell. So it is now fully cured and it is still exactly the same as it was. You can see how it's raised up, it's got a definite bump. So the centre here, I don't know what happened, it got hot or something and it's pushed right up out from the surrounding resin. So I got a little bit nervous along the way thinking it was going to get stuck in the mould. So when it was kind of half cured after about four hours, I just went round with my finger like this and just pulled the mould away on the sides like this and it's mostly come undone. There was a little bit just here where it was stuck um, but it's come away from the resin because the resin wasn't quite cured so I think probably the mould will be okay. So shall we un, uh, unmold it and see what we got? Obviously on the top we've got all the gold. As I expected, the gold just floats. So if we get any gold on the underside, I shall be pleasantly surprised. But if we get this out of the mold, I'll be surprised because it was so hot. Even feeling from the side of the mold like this was really hot. Okay, so let's give it a try. It feels loose. I think it's gonna come. Yes, it's out, the mold is saved. So let's take a look. Now that's interesting. I've got some, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in the light. There's around half a dozen of what look like gold glitter pieces, kind of right just on the, the front of the piece itself. So I don't know if those have come from the gold ink or whether they were just in the mold and I didn't see them. I don't have the best of eyesight, so it's possible they were already in the mold or it could be that they've come from the, the gold ink itself, but I think it's unlikely. Now this has got a lot of depth to it. The design is mostly on the, the back of the mold, um, the back of the piece, and there's some designs coming up around the sides. But if you look from the front, you can see it's got real, real depth to it. So it's really quite interesting. I think I'm gonna get my glasses on so I can take a better look. Yeah, I think it looks really quite beautiful. I think it looks good this way up because the, the bottom part of the mold of the piece here is where the inks are coming mostly up to the surface. And then it's got a very interesting section just here and then a bit lighter up at the top. So it's actually been saved. It's basically come out a lot better than I expected it to. And I really quite like it. So I think now all I probably need to do is actually fill in the back where the back is kind of a mess. If I just put some clear resin in here to level it up, I think this piece actually is a winner. I really like it. So yes, I think it's a save. Phew! When it got so hot, I really wasn't sure. So as usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a little bit touch and go in this one, but uh, it all turned out well in the end. See you again soon.